cars, mate. Everyone loves cars, mate. Your uncle has one, your auntie has one, hell, even Nana has one. And you might have noticed in my Top Gear and Grand Tour video that the trio seem to do a fair bit of specials and road trips with different cars. Some of them can be cooler than a Coles Express slushy, while others can suck explosive ding-dong. I've got every single car here from every single special, except for these three. And make sure to drop a fat skid mark on the subscribe button if you want to be hotter than a sausage roll. And with that out of the way, let's, let's commence forth! Starting us off in rubbish tier, we have the god-awful Crosley CC Convertible. It basically ticks all the boxes. It's ugly, it's slow, it breaks down all the time, it makes this sound whenever it moves. It's just horrible. Also in F tier is Hammond's TVS Star. And not because it's ugly or anything, but the whole idea of it is so Down Syndrome that it hurts my brain. Like, you can't actually be serious that old mate just picked up a bunch of string from African Tesco and just hung up a bunch of fish on his motorbike. Like, that's so stupid. Moving into E tier now, we have James's wooden cruiser. Not only was this thing devoured in the ocean like a fat guy eating a KFC bucket, but it was also terrible compared to the competition. Also in E tier is Hammond's Land Cruiser and Jeremy's Lancia Beta Coupe. Both are about as tough as a kitchen sink window and both of them are kind of just forgettable in all honesty. Despicable Me 3 tier is just full of cars that aren't too bad, but are more just incredibly forgettable. Like, you're not gonna go up to your mates and be like, Oh yeah, mate, I got this red car from the dump shop for five bucks, yeah? Bargain. I also got a copy of it out from the Chipmunks on DVD. C tier is full of cars that I think are okay, but are pretty grand autismo in all honesty. A good example of one is Hammond's Chevy SSR from Eurocrash, which is a convertible pickup truck. And to quote one of my very philosophical friends, that is kind of tism nay nay, not gonna lie. B tier is full of cars that I do genuinely like, but are held back with stuff like mechanical issues and all that. As much as I'd love to sit down and ramble on about why this slab of metal is better than the Lamborghini. I just don't think anyone really gives a shit, and nor do I, so why don't we just get onto the good cars, eh? A tier is where the properly nice and glamorous looking cars are, but then you might have noticed that there's a little bit of decomposable feces in there, and you might be wondering how is this sought after dump truck in the same tier as a nice Ford Mustang? It's because of its astute interior, like look at it, it's got a table, it's got a shower, it's got a bed, it's even got a bow balcony and hey I know a fair bit about real estate if I do say so myself. Welcome back to Selling Shitboxes Australia. I'm your host Mr. White Person and today we're looking at a brand new house on the market. Located in the town of Santa Claus Australia this house is everything you would want from luxurious dining to lovely bedding. But wait hold everything! Be one of the first 50 people to pre-order this house and you can save up to 50% off the house and get a free cup of two minute noodles. But wait, be one of the first five people to order and we'll double the whole offer. That's right, you get two whole houses and two cups of two minute noodles. Just order it and stop asking so many fucking questions. New to seven after the Olympics. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, S tier, full of the absolute most glamorous, gorgeous, and top of the line cars. Anyways mate, I've got absolutely nothing else to add to the video, so make sure to smash like and hit subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.